Thank you. Thanks, Lydia. I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to cover our agenda. We'll do welcome and logistics. Uh, our project team will introduce themselves and then we will give an overview of the project and we will have time uh, at the end for any questions and answers if there are any. Uh, so I'm going to just get us to our introduction page and we'll start with our project manager. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Jose Ibarra. I'll be the project manager of this project. I'm with Public Works Project Management Division. Hello, my name is Reza Aguili and I'll be uh, the project sponsor, uh, working closely with Jose uh, as the project manager and, uh, um, and the inspectors and I'll be supporting in terms of uh, cost and schedule. Hello, this is Robert Cabello, and I will be the inspector on this job with Public Works, and I work for uh, Peter Morales. I'm Ken Fowler. I'm the design engineer for the project. I'm with Riley Mountain Engineering. I'm Ron Greer. I'm with uh, the contractor for facilities rehabilitation. Uh, we'll be doing the work uh, on site, and I'm the operations manager for the company. Thank you all. I'm Emily Chancellor, and I'm in the public information office at Austin Water, and I'll be assisting the project team you just met uh, with providing communications uh, throughout the project and throughout the construction period. And we have a couple of other team members who have joined tonight. Would you like to introduce yourselves, uh, Peter and William? We could start with William. I think he's ready. Good afternoon. My name is William Power. I'm supervising engineer for the construction management division at Public Works. And I think Peter's having um, technical difficulties, so I'll introduce him. Uh, for, I'll do the introductions for him. His name is Peter Morales. He's Robert Cabello's supervisor. He reports to me, and he's also going to be involved in this project. We are the inspection for representing the city. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's really helpful for our customers to kind of get a face with the name to know who's working on this project. And then uh, let's see, I think I went one too far. I'm going to hand it over to our project manager now to give us an overview of the project. Thank you, Emily. As I said, my name is Jose Barra, and I'll be the project manager. So let's start with a uh, showing the limits of construction on the north we will be working uh, on academy drive from the intersection with union avenue going east almost to the to the re east riverside drive and then we will be also working on bitley road between academy drive and pecan grove road and then we will be doing pecan grove road from uh, the west on uh, intersection with Newton Avenue and to the east, almost to the Alameda Drive. Next. Give me just a second here. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> That's fine. a box covered up my controls here. So there we go. Okay, so here we are. This project is part of Austin Water's efforts to replace aging and deteriorated water and wastewater infrastructure. And we plan to replace and update. Uh, let me see if I, I can not see it there. 2,650 linear feet of water lines and, and 3,215 linear feet of wastewater lines. We are planning to replace two fire hydrants and to relocate another three to meet the current spicing requirement. Um, the construction is expected to start in late summer, but that will be dependent of the a contractor uh, getting all the needed supplies uh, in order to have a continuous construction phase and will take approximately 16 months to complete. And 
uh, as a note, all the roads will be resurfaced after construction is complete. This is just an example of what, what you might see on your street, the open cut trenching and the big equipment that we are going to use. Uh, as a construction overview, as we said, the contractor will use heavy equipment to dig trenches for the new water and wastewater lines and all the roads will be patched after the line is installed and the roads repave, as we mentioned at the end of the project. And it's uh, valid to mention that the crews will be working in front of your house several number of times because in order to complete each phase of the work, when they will be doing excavation, pipe installation for both uh, water and wastewater, temporary paving, testing, repairs if needed, and finally the final paving on the street. What to expect during construction? We will be working mostly on the street, but especially for the uh, connection to the line, to the main lines to your house, we will be working in the right of way. It's valid to mention that not everybody knows that the right of way is located 10 to 15 feet behind the curb in an area that you may consider part of your lawn. So we may require in the areas that the connection is made with the main line to remove landscaping or any other personal items that you may have in the right of way. Another thing to consider is that the contractor may need to do some tree trimming uh, due to the heavy equipment that we will be using. Uh, that tree trimming, of course, will be coordinated between the city inspector, the, the environmental inspector, and we will be consulting with the city arborist. Uh, regarding traffic, the streets will be closed during through tra uh, to through traffic during all the time of construction, but all the local traffic will be allowed. Flaggers will allow access for residents and they, all the streets will be fully reopened to traffic at the end of each work day. Uh, you may have limited access to your a home and your driveway for brief periods if we are working there in front of your house. Utility service, at some point your water or wastewater will be, service will be temporarily interrupted to connect to the new line. And it, it probably will be just for a few hours on a single day. We will definitely notify you with flyers posted on your door, prime, prior to turning off the water. And that will be done at least 48 hours uh, before that uh, happened. Uh, it's important to mention that emer emergency outage could happen if our, any water line is broken during construction. The working hours are uh, generally from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and sometimes on weekend, uh, some work can, uh, can be scheduled. Email newsletter. Uh, we are asking and we have asked before if you want to receive updates to please sign up at austintexas.gov uh, uh, slash academy. And as I mentioned, project notices will be uh, put on your house and planned at least 48 hours before the planning shut off. And the construction coordinator will leave a notice on your front door. Thank you so much. Um, so that is the overview of our uh, project. And I wanna end with um, sharing 
our contact information for the project. Uh, you can reach us by phone or by email. You heard from Jose, our project manager, and Robert also. Robert will be in the field and he will be there at the, at the site uh, to help coordinate anything. You have his cell phone number here on the screen and you can always contact me for anything related to Austin Water. And uh, would anyone from the project team like to just make any closing comments or add anything before we wrap this up? All right, Emily, so, yes. Sorry, this was, uh, I just want to point out that if there's any questions uh, from reach out to Robert Cabello, since he's going to be the point of contact for this project. And for the shout outs, there will typically be two types of shout outs. One is going to be the test shout out that will last around 30 minutes. That's to assure that specific segments are only impacted and we don't actually shout out um, more people than intended. And then we'll have the real shout out where we actually will connect the actual transmission lines. We will be in touch with y'all once we're going to actually impact your water meter because we're going to have to change the existing connection to the new one, as well as the sanitary sewer line. We're going to have to do the connection and we will communicate with y'all so that the interruption is minimal. That's all I have, Emily. Thank you. Thanks. We appreciate you, William, and your team. You all are the glue that make these projects work, and you're so customer focused. We really appreciate the work you do. And thank you all for joining this project meeting. And do visit our project website at austintexas.gov slash academy uh, for more information and to sign up to get those email updates. Thank you.